Chaos Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, Bye, y'all. And in Menudo Style Direct Fashion, we're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directing the direction of the dope content that I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled and I'm very much so appreciative. So, gracias. So, lefty gunplay. Okay. The, when's this Vata going to learn? Right? When's he going to learn that the only way you make real serious money in the rap game is to open yourself to all areas except for Diddy? Don't, don't, do, don't do that. That's if you, I mean, if you choose to do that, it's on you, bro. And But for real, uh, this guy needs to get away from the negative thinking and the gang banging. You know, if you want to be a gang member, go to the streets and do that. Go to prison. Go back to prison. You know, be a cool guy. You know, uh, 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 have some of those highness that you have put money on your books. See, see how long that lasts. Before they're with your homeboy doing the la 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 la. You know, that ain't gonna last too long. You know, I hear a song that comes out. Slime, slime something. Slime ball. I don't know what it is, right? It's getting slimy. But the Vato had chose to disrespect the Norte again. Norteños. Why? Just when you think the shit was dying down between North and South as far as this back and forth on wax, this music, this music dissing. Because I've been seeing what the Norteños are putting out and what they're doing, man. You know, they're doing their Machina videos. I've seen Big Tone put out, you know, a remix of the Norte Siding, North Side Siding. Um, I'm looking at what these guys are doing and they've moved on. they moved on from the war words. It pretty much is what it is, you know. If motherfuckers see each other in crossing paths, then so be it. You know, and if you proclaim to be the face of LA and you proclaim to be, you know, a real Southsider, because I've done time with real Southsiders, right? And I've seen how they rock and how professional they carry themselves. And that's why I have nothing but respect for them. Then you conduct yourself a certain way. And this disrespect of the Norteño movement, this constant uh, antagonizing... You know, let it go, bro. You know, I see that you used one of Lil TYS's songs, Rest in Peace, you know, about the who passed away, that you never even knew existed until this disrespect came up. You didn't even know this Valta. You weren't even beefing with them, not even tripping off of them. But you know that's a way to antagonize the Norteños by utilizing his beat or disrespecting him. You know, all this disrespect is going to come back to bite you, bro. It's going to come back to the point where now your sound is just more regional. Now the only ones that fuck with you are hardcore Southsiders that don't care if your music's good or not. As long as you're pushing the narrative and saying what they'd like to hear. And I'm talking about upstaters. Vaultos from down south could really care less. They're going to support you because you're from, you know, the L.A. area. They're going to show you love. Um, because, of course, man, a... Hey, you're one of their own, man. I respect it. You're brown. You're one of our own. But there comes a time and place where you have to respect the brown men from no matter where they're from. Whether it be up north or down south. You know, all this going back and disrespecting. A Vato went to your neighborhood, pulled up, spray painted it, shot a music video, landed on your fucking Hefa's doorstep, bro. And you never addressed it. You did the right thing. You just pushed on and went to Texas. And uh, did a concert at an Outback Steakhouse. But trip out on this. Now you want to come back after everything's died down. After ain't no one really tripping. And start disrespecting again. Are your numbers doing bad? See, usually when someone talks about the same old shit that got them on in the first place. That means their numbers aren't doing as good or as great as they thought. So they revert back to doing what they used to do. I do the same thing with content creation. If I notice my numbers ain't doing well. With uh, some of the new content I'm putting out, then I'll do what hey, I'll do what I do and take it back to the old school, and start telling you know prison stories and stories of my past because I know those go and people want to hear those, and that's the reason why most people tune in in the first place is to fuck with it, right? But when it comes to the rap game and when it comes to serious gang banging, you know, the time for disrespect is over. If it didn't get you a bag in the first place, it ain't gonna get you a bag again. 
You know, all it's going to do is have Norteños riled up and then they're going to start focusing on you again. And it's going to go back and forth. See, eventually, what I know about the Norteño movement and the Southsiders is eventually they need a body. Eventually. See, this talking shit to each other could only go on for so long. Someone has to be the bigger group or the bigger man and say, you know what? Ain't no one really pushing the envelope. Ain't no one really fucking doing anything. So it's good. Let's just move on. You know, it's making people believe, people that don't know what's going on, going on in Califas between the North and the South. It's making them believe that there's this fucking heated, heated rivalry between Lefty Gunplay and these individuals. But the truth is, Lefty Gunplay, you did time on the Yarda with these guys. There is no Norteños where you're from. The only time a Norteño has ever been in your presence is on the prison yard or in your neighborhood when he pulled, pulled up. Other than that, You've never had run-ins with them. These are not your enemigos. These are not the Valtas that you beef with on the daily. These are not the guys, you know, taking your homeboys out. This is none of that. This is fucking rap music. And what happens when you keep pushing that gangbanging narrative and you blur the, blur the lines between rap and gangbanging? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, bro. A body. Someone's going to feel some type of way. You know, when you start to disrespect the dead and, and I'm going to be, and I'm going to be honest with you, man. I heard the lyrics. On that video, um, that new song you put out, and trip out. Valtas were like this. They were going in on him in the comments, like, damn, bro, that was Scott guy again. You know, what's up with the auto tune, the singing, Lil Wayne? <laughs> like a motherfucking cat car, right? Um, and I seen where you pinned a comment. Oh, I'm gonna master this, this, uh, auto tune shit and, and, um, whatever, right? And then when people are like, damn, that was, them lyrics weren't it, bro. First thing you said, oh, I freestyled all of that. Well, bro, look, stick to writing shit down because freestyle, you ain't Jay-Z, homie. You know, um, and you don't want to be him any, you know, when Diddy tells on him. So I'm just saying, at the end of the day, you know, this constant picking up where you left off as far as disrespecting Norteños, ain't no one saying nothing about you. Let it go. You know, a lot of the guys that, I've seen a lot of people nowadays that are disrespecting the Norteños and Northerners that are disrespecting Baltas from down South, right? Look, I've been through all that. And one thing that we stopped, especially when I was in the Youth Authority, was the disrespect. We felt it made us look like cowards to talk behind Baltas' backs. We felt that if we weren't going to do something to them and they were right there in the compa with us, then why talk about it? Why disrespect them? Why be a sucker, man, and say something when they're not in your presence, right? That's how we felt. So we had our juntas, 1994, 95. I remember, no, it was 94. We had our juntas, and we banned the word, the disrespectful words that people say towards the South, right? We said, hey, bro, if we're going to feel some type of way, just get off where you're mad at. Be professional in, your, in, in the way you conduct your program, and treat others the way you want to be treated, but never be a coward, homes. Never be one of those ones that runs your bumps, make you sort of breath on the door or runs your neck behind the scenes. See, when I see here diss albums, <clears throat> most diss albums between two rappers are usually just to sell records. You know, um, usually just to get attention. And I feel like this was more attention or either this was an old song that you decided to put out now when the beef was bumping, man. But I think you should let that be known. Like, hey, this is something I was working on, bro, in the past. I ain't even tripping off like that. You know, to kick, keep insinuating, hey, man, fuck these guys. I ain't fuck with you. Everybody already knows that. That's an old a broken record, bro. It's an old record. It keeps going round and round. If you're not changing and elevating the game and opening up new, you know, getting into new genre. Next thing you know, Lefty Gunplay is going to be making country music. You know, I understand, bro, you, when you first came out, you had the buzz. And, you know, let's let's be honest, man. Lefty's doing big things. You know, um, for a year now, he's had about a year, he's had the buzz and he's making money. But the last couple of months, man, we haven't been hearing too much about Lefty Gunplay. You know, people are going to say, well, they're going to defend him. Quit. Well, he was on tour. He's on this. Uh, hey, bro, defend yourself. You know, this Valto, you know, the, it seems like. The constant disrespect, the, the, the weirdness, all the different J-Cat shit, you know, it's just going to lead to drama. You know, there was a man that pulled up in your neighborhood and nothing ever happened, bro.
from Northern California. Zero, zip, zilch, nada. So everything you say after that point doesn't mean not, nothing. I, I can't even say it right. Nothing, right? It means nothing, homes. Let me get an spray and then I can talk right, right? It doesn't mean nothing. You know, the best thing to do is do like Mexican OT, do like Burner, do like these rappers that are successful in the game and those that's go outside your comfort zone in your box and go make music for the masses rather than just regional sound. See, you're always going to have the Southern Hanthi to back your play because you're from down south. If you weren't from there, nobody from L.A. would fuck with your music. Period. You might have one or two dudes that just want to be want to be gangster. You know, they wouldn't fuck with you. No one in Northern California would fuck with you really, right? Because until you step your game up and get your lyrics right, no one's really going to fuck with it, man. You know, trying to add AI or fucking, what is it called? Fucking the, 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 I don't know, whatever you're using, right? The fucking, uh, uh, buy me a drink, right? <laughs> whatever it is that fucking you're using. Um, it doesn't go, bro. You know, I see people on their damn, this is a badass song, left and said, what the fuck are you guys listening to nowadays? This is Ka Ka with a capital C, you know? Correct, right? <laughs> it's it's Ka Ka. Um, shout out to the Crips. But anyways, you know, as far as, you know, disrespecting a, a, a dead North Thing, you know, and this disrespect of dead people has gone a little too far. Let a motherfucker rest, bro. And I see it on both sides. I'm not just targeting lefty gunplay. You know, this video is about him because it was already cool. Like North and South, as far as the disrespect on music, they were already, they already moved on from that. You don't hear bands keeping it going. You don't hear Lazy Boy keeping it going. You don't hear fucking, you know, just let it go. And and you got to understand, like, Vato's from Southern California, nothing but love and respect for me. 100%, right? But I did time in the school. And besides the Northerners that were there, ourselves, um, in the Youth Authority, these guys had never even, didn't even know what a Norteño was, had never been associated, didn't even, some of them didn't even know they were our enemies. Didn't even know it was on and cracking. We did because we've had Southsiders up north. Different breed, different gente, same cause, but different mindset. You know, they, we were at guerra. We were born at war, right? Those were our enemies. You know, those were the people that we, we usually funked with. So we already had a chip on our shoulder, but that gave us an understanding of what we signed up for. The Vaultas from down south were like, these are just Vaultas from, up there, homie, we're gonna put a shirt on, isn't it? They weren't even tripping. And then when they started to understand, and they started to get wheelas, and they started to realize, hey, these vatos are not supposed to be able to function with this and all. Then it got political. Then it got dangerous, but it never got disrespectful. When it did, it got real dangerous, right? But still, we decided to conduct ourselves with a form of professionalism because that's how the raza rolls, always smooth and direct, right? If you're not going to pick up a fucking fierro and handle it, then don't even talk about it. So when I see Lefty continuing to bang on wax, it's either a cry for attention or the bag is getting low, man. Now, I want to address something else. You know, what, what I could sit here and tell you all day, you know, tell people all day, don't disrespect back and forth. But ultimately, man, that's what people are going to do. If they think fucking the gangbanging means more to them than their money, than their family, than their life, whatever, right? That's on you, man. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? Shout out to Fresno Bulldog, speaking of dog. Um, I seen an issue between Dopey from 18 and Lefty, where Dopey was interviewed, man, and, and he had some pretty choice words for Lefty. So obviously, I don't know if they're getting along, but it looks like Dopey, man, you know, Dopey is solid, man. From everything I've seen, I don't know him personally like that, but I've been around enough 18 streeters to understand they move a certain way. They all move a certain way. And I've always liked Dopey's music. Lyrically, he goes. He's always been respectful with his willings and dealings with the Northern Raza. He's done time. He's been a real one. He continues to be a real one. The Vata doesn't get in any of these rap beefs. The Vata doesn't himself involve himself in all the drama. You know, if he has something, his little hood beefs or whatever he's got going on, he keeps that to his hood, does it the correct way. Doesn't put his shit out there for millions to watch and see. Uh, makes his money and does it pushing. That's a real one. Okay? 
Um, and I can see where he fucking, he was talking about Lefty. And I know there was some people in there on the comments like, oh, this Vato's je jealous of what, bro? That Vato has everything he's worked for. You know, there's nothing bad anyone can say about Dopey besides if you know him personally, you don't like him, right? But the everything that I've seen that he's ever put on social media has been calm, cool, and calculated and respectful. This is the first time that I, my personal self, have ever heard him come out the box and say something. You know, a uh, uh, derogatory towards someone. And, you know, he was feeling that lefty is feeling himself too much. And it happens, man. When people have never tasted success, they've never had money, they've never had bitches or women or fucking whatever you want to say. And I'm not saying bitches are women or women are bitches. I'm just saying sometimes, you know what I mean? Hey, what did Roddy Rack say? <laughs> Your best homeboy, he's a bitch boy. <laughs> All right? I'm just saying, um... Don't think I'm disrespecting women because that's far from the truth, right? I love me a woman. Show! I know P. Diddy doesn't. But listen, um, that Valta never disrespected anyone, but he, you know, told Lefty, hey, it seems like, bro, you're, you're, you're just getting a little too big for your britches. Like, all of a sudden, you you're, you got star power, homie. You got a little success, a little bit of a fanfare, and a, lot, a little bit of people are, you know, behind you, and now you... Feel like the people who paved the way, the people who put on, the people you once looked up to you or you bumped their music, now all of a sudden they're, you know, they're not even your peers. You're way past them. You're light years ahead of them. Look, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I I like Lefty Gunplay as a person. What I see, I, I can see he's slightly trying to change. This was definitely backtracking. But I'll tell you right now, Dopey will wrap 18 circles around you, bro. Period. That's just the truth. Now, I'm not here to start controversy between two Valtas from the South because people are going to get it twisted. Why? Hey, this is uh, Southern business. Don't get involved. Gun man, fuck you. Right? Straight up. Look, shout out to the South and the Sewell. I shed blood. I did my thing. I fought. I clawed my way. I lived amongst. You know, a lot of people always say, Gun, why are you a little bit different? You're from Northern California. Why are you a little bit different? Because doing time in Southern California as a young kid, see, when I was a gang member, when I started to really get involved and I picked up my murder case and I went to the youth authority and, and I was just involved at a different level, right? I wanted to soak all the knowledge and soak the mannerisms of a gangster. I wanted to be that one right back then because I was foolish. But at the same time, I was set in my ways that I wanted to achieve a, to a certain level. I wanted to gain status within my organization and group, right? And when I went down to Southern California and I seen the way they moved and I was like, man, that's the gangster Stilo. I didn't want to be part of their movement, part of what they were representing. I had what I was, couldn't change that, never would. Right. But I like the mannerisms of the way they conducted their program. Um, so a lot of that I soaked and it, I gained a lot of respect for the soul. I gained a lot of respect for real ones and the way that their body was programmed and the history of their body. So I got out. Letting everyone know, hey, because I used to hear, hear homeboys and the guys, ah, oh, them punks, whoa, whoa, there's LA, this LA, they, whoa, 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 motherfucker, I was living in LA, you better stop it, right, I was tripping, like, hey, motherfuckers ain't no suckers down there, you go down there, they fuck around and put a fierro in your ass, right, Wes Watson, I'm just saying, so I'm at a whole different level, so I give respect to everyone, so when people are like, ah, oh, you're just hating, nah, I don't hate, man, I just call it like I sees it, you know, on every level, I said it the other day, um, but Dopey, you know, to say that and do that, um, he must be upset. Like, he must really be irked by this youngster. And I get it, man. I get it. When you're a real Sreno or Southsider Homes and you put in fucking work for your barrio and you've done time in the count, Alley County Jail or the whatever county jail in South, Southern California and you've went to the Pinta and you've represented your gente and you see someone who says that he did all these things and he doesn't conduct himself the way a Sureño or a Soundsider that I've been around does. I know everyone's different, but he just doesn't, period. You start to question things like, hey, is this Vato just fucking benefiting from all the Southern hospitality? But at the same time, bro, it's J-catting out. You know, it just is what it is. This disrespect of the North, um, this disrespect of Dopey. And of course, Dopey said that he tried to get at this Vato and this Vato fucking put emojis or whatever he did, right? Whatever, their business. I'm sure they'll, they'll handle it like, man, I'm sure in Dopey's case, he's already figured it out, right? Um, lefty is going to be lefty. 
You know, I like Lefty as a person, and I believe, man, he can grow. He can be the one to open up the doors for a lot of a lot of the, the, the raza, north and south. But this disrespect constantly of people and thinking you're better, it ain't never going to work out for you. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive, the struggle, the struggle, the strive. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that rocks this Frisco crown. And I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people. I don't do this video to talk shit about lefty gunplay. You know, this is called hard love, bro. Not the shit. No, 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 no ditty party. Not that type of hard love. If you're into that, go kiss Brick Wolf again and do your thing. I'm giving you the real, man. Stop it with all the North and South shenanigans. This is, it's, it's, it's just drama. Hey, I'm going to drop a new album. I'm going to disrespect the North Daniel. Or the, or the Northerners say, I'm going to drop a new album. I'm going to disrespect Lefty Gunplay and talk about how he kisses men. You know, look, I'm going to tell you guys straight up right now, man. No one is trying to listen to that shit, that, that, that disrespect. Everyone wants to hear good music and see brown people make a lot of money. And that's real. The gun.